Hello friends, it's Kayla and I'm here to do a video, obviously. It's called the Do I Have That Other Book Challenge. I did this video, the Do I Have This Book Challenge, I don't know, like a year or two ago. Apparently there's a new one. I see a bunch of people doing it in my feed, but I can't watch anybody's video until I film my own because you're not supposed to know the prompts going in and I want to watch it, so I'm going to do it. You all ask for more videos with Rob, so he will be accompanying me. But you're only allowed to see this much of him. Last time, I don't think I did it timed, but I did try to do it blindfolded. Okay, I know I have... What are you doing? I grapple with doing these challenge videos because I want to do a thorough job, but I'm also competitive. So I, I'm going to lean towards the competitive side this time and see what kind of time I can get. This video was created by Keeping Tabs and Current Chapter, so I will link them down below. And it's basically, how many prompts were there? There's 20. There's 20 prompts. And I have to find them on my bookshelf. Listen, these videos are a lot of pressure because I always get comments that are like, why didn't you pick this? I would have picked this. This one was so obvious. It was right there. But I can't think that fast. <laughs> I'm nervous. Are you ready? No. Ew, I look ugly from this angle. Don't ever look at me from this angle. <laughs> okay, go. Number one, do you have a book with a fox on the cover or as part of the plot? A, f a fox. I have the fox whole court, which has fox in the title, which I think should count. Hold Number on. two, do you have a book published the year you were born or within three years radius? I know one book that came out the year I was born was Jurassic Park, but I've never, I don't own it. Um, I feel like I could pick any Stephen King and I'd probably be pretty close. What was it, within three years? Yeah, threshold of three years. I was born in 1990. Misery came out in 1987. <gasps> math! I love math. Good. That's good. Okay. Okay, number three. Do you have a book with music as weapon or magic? What? Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Side note, I reorganized my bookshelves recently and I don't know them yet. So... <laughs> This savage song is somewhere. That's the only thing I can think of. What color is it? Red and black. That's the only answer I have. What happens if I can't find it? I can, you can skip and we can come back. The answer is yes, I have that book. Skip, okay, number four. Do you have a series with mismatched covers? <laughs> oh, probably, 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 probably. I'm feeling anxious. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I have this one. I have this one. Look at it. Ruin and Rising. Can I see it? And I have this one. They don't match. Perfect. Well, they do. Well, no, wait. No, I'd say that's they're different. They're not, but okay. Number five. Do you have a book with a shapeshifter? What? A shapeshifter? Blanca y Roja. Number six. Do you have a book signed by the author? Uh, yeah, the first one I can think of. I'm really sorry, but it's Rainbow Rowell. You're literally tripping me. <laughs> Number seven, do you have a book with mostly red cover? Yeah. The Troop. Do you, number eight, do you have a book that's between 287 and 306 pages? What? What? 200? There's a PS that says enjoy the struggle on that 287? one. 287? Oh, 270. What do I do? No! And quick. Oh my god. There's no page numbers. 277? That's just rude. I literally quit. What was the higher number? 306. I hate this challenge. 316? 306! Yes. Okay. Uh, number nine. Do you have a book where the main character wears glasses? No. Oh. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hold on. Gansey. Oh, good call. Stop tripping me. Number 10, do you have a book with a title that has the same number of letters as your first name? Bunny, Kayla, Kayla, Bunny. Number 11, do you have a book where there is a cyber crime or technology as an important plot point? Yeah, 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 a circle. No, that's not here. What'd you say? I already forgot. Cyber crime or technology ooh, as an important plot ooh, point. Ooh, where's Warcraft? Number 12, do you have a book written in another language or translated? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, <laughs> um, 
I mean, I mean, yeah. I do. I sure do. I have never been worse at a challenge in my life. I literally quit. There it is. Dinner. Nice. Do you have a book by an Asian author? Look for me, Disney. Number 14, do you have a book with a moon on the cover? A moon? A moon? How about 10 moons? Uh, number 15, do you have an illustrated children's book? Not here. What? Run. I need a book. I love you like a pig? Number 16, do you have a collection of myths or fairy tales? Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those who make us. Creature, myth, and monster stories. Number 17, do you have a fantasy or sci-fi that has an alliance between two different races? Number 18, do you have a book with a narrow front cover? What does that mean? Paperback that the front cover is trimmed slightly, shorter narrow than the rest of the pages. Um, yeah, I don't know where the night circus is. But probably a hundred books do that. Fuck. Oh my god, I found it. I think that's called a step back. Maybe I'm wrong. This one. What's the next okay. one? Do you have a book that includes the first chapter of the sequel? I mean, probably? How would I know that? How does anyone know that? No? I have literally never done marks at a challenge. End of book one. Fuck you. Do people just know that? Like, is that a thing? Do I'm... people just remember? I will throw up. <gasps> yeah, the squirt show. Perfect. Number 20, do you have a book with a broken spine? Yeah? Not, well I guess it has to be visible. This one. And the bonus. Bonus? Can you find a book that covers three or more prompts? What? 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 All I can think about is the 300 page one and now I'm freaking out. What about <laughs> the Raven Cycle, the first one? Is there a moon on it? No. I don't know any of the prompts. Everything happened too fast. Red cover, Asian author, cybercrime is a main plot. Okay, The Wrath and the Dawn, Asian author, red on the cover. What else you got for me? Uh, moon on the cover, shapeshifter, signed by the author. You got mostly red. Um, main character wears glasses. No. Cyber crime is a no. main point. Written in another language or translated. No. Moon on the cover. No. Um, this is also not about foxes. Oh, not about foxes? <laughs> it's an illustrated kids book. Ooh, does it have a chapter of the next book? It has a prologue of the next book. This one fit three prompts. Yeah. I'm very hot and I don't want to post this. I, I. It took you 13 minutes. I'm never doing anything like that again and I'm upset. I'm sorry I yelled. I gotta go. I gotta leave. I have to keep this with me. That was embarrassing. Hindsight being 2020. I shouldn't be allowed to do challenges like that. Um, the worst side of me comes out. Also, can we think of the logistics? of this challenge because like I couldn't find the savage song. If we're timing ourselves and the answer to one of the questions is no, then it'll cut down the time. So like I could have lied about all of them and gotten a great time and then won the challenge. There's no winning and losing, but I'm an Aries. If I just had to name the titles and not have to look for them, it could have been even faster. If I knew my bookshelves better, it could have been even faster. My bookshelves weren't so ugly organized, I could have done it faster.
Also, what happens when I lie about one? Because those weren't mismatched covers of Shadow and Bone. So what? Like, shouldn't I have a minute added to my time if I don't have an answer? But then I shouldn't, nobody should be like, reprimanded for the answer being no because like if you have all the books in the list like i probably do like there's a conversation about consumerism here 14 minutes that was my time no shame to anybody else who gets 14 minutes but i'm pretty sure that is below average but now i can go watch everybody else's upon watching other people's some people got seven minutes some people got 17 minutes so i shouldn't have actually been that upset with my time. I should have taken my time. I really just blacked out during that whole thing. I would like to reflect on this challenge. This is not about foxes. <laughs> you know what I realized happened in this challenge is I got so caught up with titles. Like you all know my most common cover on all of my shelves is the night sky. There are moons everywhere, but I was like, moon, 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 moon. And I just kept thinking of the word moon and I had to find this book and nothing else would work in my mind. I wish my shelves were organized by genre. This would have been so much easier because like a collection of stories I had an entire shelf for. Most of them are about myths or inspired by fairy tales, but the word myth was so stuck in my head that I had to find the one that had myth in the title. I feel like this one is probably so many people's answer for the cyber thing. I don't even remember what that prompt was. It's all a blur. I also highly recommend Warcross, by the way, if you liked uh, Ready Player One especially, which would have also been a good answer. And upon reflection, I don't actually have a series on my shelves that is mismatched. I thought I did because it's such a common complaint in this community and so I just assumed like of course I have one but I don't think I do and I don't know if you would count this. I wouldn't personally count like the style of book hardcover versus paperback as mismatched but maybe they are. For the prompt that was like to race I have no idea like I don't read enough sci-fi to even have that in my vocabulary. <laughs> my books were done. That's the only thing I could think of. Your books, Rob's books, his only books on these shelves are on the top shelf, which I can't even reach. Oh, yeah. And they're behind an entire oh. layer. I really just picked up the first sci-fi that came to mind and I don't, I still don't even know if this fits exactly what they were trying to say. This one was a solid answer, but there's also so many on my shelves that are translated that I could have picked. But once I just had an idea in my head like I had to find that book. Even if I looked at a shelf and there were multiple options, I couldn't get the one book that first came into my mind out of my mind. Signed edition, yeah, this is actually one of the only signed books that I own, but I would have loved to have thought of first we were four in the moment because then I could have recommended it. And this was actually like a note written to me, which is even cooler. For the children's book, I don't even know what this is. Like I swear I've never seen this before. It must have come in a book box or something. Maybe I've read this with Liam, but it's just the first thing I grabbed in his nightstand. This one just messed me up because we started in such a positive place. Like I picked up the first book I picked up happened to be the right year. And then we just went downhill for the rest of the video. I have to give a shout out to Bunny, which I also highly recommend because those pink letters were just staring me right in the face. I am embarrassed I had to count to five but it's okay. I'm sure for the glasses question, everyone else is gonna pull down Harry Potter, which I don't have here, but also like, I'm sure there are so many contemporary answers, characters with glasses that I just don't remember have glasses. Like I just watched Emma's and she pulled Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I don't even remember that he had glasses. I picked the troop for Mostly Red, which is mostly red, but like of my entire red shelf, that I had to pull from. Pretty much every book here has more red than the one that I grabbed. And if this one I picked for a bonus, was it even supposed to be in the allotted time? Because it was a bonus, like I didn't need it. Do I get points for this? This one I still don't even know if it's what they were describing, but hopefully it is. Asian author, solid recommendation. Love from A to Z is one of my favorite YA contemporaries. If you're looking for something to read, um, this I describe as shape-shifting and I know based on Robbie yelling at me and so many other books I could have picked I know there are other answers but I picked this one where there are uh I don't even know how to describe it there are the love interests in this story have interesting 
there's a bear who's also a boy. Is that shape-shifting? I'm not sure. What was this one for? Oh, the broken spine. I didn't mean to upset you by doing that. So hopefully you're okay. This one I grabbed for the number of pages and I saw the number 306, but technically there is a page 307. So you have to either deduct a point or add a minute to my time, however you've decided we're doing this. The one that made me the most angry is finding the next chapter of a book because I'm sure, I'm sure there are so many series that do that, but I could not find it. I could not think of it. I used to have a series shelf and I was just getting angry as the video went on and I couldn't think of the answer. And then honestly, I couldn't stop thinking about how fat my arms probably looked from that angle and I just wanted to quit the video and it put me in a bad mood. I'm just being honest. I hate when people comment about my body. Oh, and I still can't find this Savage song and I am angry about it. I think that's it. I just wanted to do a useless recap at the end of this to express my frustration. I still don't even know if I'm gonna post this. Watching back that footage, deduct a couple minutes from my time for poor sportsmanship. Okay, bye.